From eight supercharging stations that appeared in the west and east coast in 2012 to over 10,000 supercharging stations that are worldwide today, this is the evolution of the Tesla supercharging network. Welcome back Tesla West fans. Today's video is going to be on the evolution of the Tesla supercharging network. If you don't know what the Tesla supercharging network is, it's where Tesla owners go to charge their vehicle when they need to juice up their car when on a trip or on their daily commute. Superchargers can charge a Tesla vehicle from 0% to 100% in about 75 minutes, 40 minutes from 0% to 80%, or 20 minutes from 0% to 50%. All Tesla superchargers use 145 kilowatts of power distributed between two adjacent cars when charging. All Tesla superchargers were free, but now Tesla charges specific owners a small fee, which is way less than the cost of gas. Now that we know what the Tesla supercharging network is, Let's back up to 2012 when Tesla added six supercharging stations in California, as well as one in between Boston and New York, plus the one in Washington DC. When Tesla added more supercharging stations in 2012, all new superchargers were going to support 120 kilowatts of power from the originally proposed 90 kilowatts of power. Today, all superchargers support 145 kilowatts of power, more than what they expected. I need a nuclear reaction to, to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. What did I just say? Complex capacity storage. This sucker's electrical. But I need a nuclear reaction to, to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! During the same year, Tesla added the in-car lightning bolt so all Tesla owners could easily navigate to the nearest supercharger from within their vehicle. In 2014, a tweet was published on Twitter from the Tesla profile saying that we just opened a bunch of superchargers to help us get closer to energizing our cross-country route, which means that you can travel from state to state or province to province without any range anxiety or even from country to country. Around the same time, Tesla patented a system allowing charging stations to prioritize charging based on the Tesla owner's need and time of arrival. By the end of 2014, Tesla's supercharging network explodes to 884 individual charging points spread across the 144 supercharger stations. By the second half of 2015, Tesla is up to 487 supercharging stations worldwide, with one opening nearly every day, which by today's standards is probably double or more. Fast forwarding to today, Tesla has nearly over 10,000 supercharging stations worldwide and is continuing to grow each day. Not to mention, Tesla has specific areas where people can charge their vehicles such as near malls, hotels, and highways, and all these charge points have different looks according to their specific location. So that's the evolution of the Tesla supercharging network. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more, hit the like button as well as the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload new content. And if you're one of those people, well, hit the dislike button. If I missed anything that I have not mentioned in this video, leave a comment and mention how your supercharging experience went when going to charge up. If you plan on buying a Tesla vehicle or Tesla Solar, use my referral link to get six months of free supercharging or five years of extended warranty on solar. Don't forget, this is the last week of the time of recording that the referral program will be available. Until now, Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.